So in this video I'm going to talk about muscle system or more specifically how striated or skeletal muscles work. So basically your muscle system is made out of three types of muscles. We have skeletal muscle or sometimes we refer to as striated muscles. So this right here is going to be my biceps muscle or the muscle in my arm that's going to make my fingers move. Um, we have smooth muscles here. Smooth muscles are going to be involuntary muscles. So like the muscles that operate in the lower portion of my esophagus, operate in my large intestine, small intestine, they are going to have different structures and are going to work a little differently. But they're involuntary, so I don't really have to think about it. And then kind of a combination between the two, the cardiac muscle looks striated, but but uh, the cardiac muscles are only going to be found in the heart. So these nice little things, as you see here, these things here is going to be called intercalated discs, which allow the transmission of electrical signals to kind of wash over the whole tissue, and that's how heart is going to be able to contract. So basically, I want to talk about the skeletal muscles, or uh, uh, how they're organized. So if we would look at this biceps as an example, right? If we were to cut the biceps right about here, it will look kind of like this. So this is a muscle. I think we've all um, seen diagrams of what muscles look like, at least of some kind of a macro level. It connects to bones at either side by tendon. And we, we have the general sense. Muscle, muscles connect to two bones. When it contracts, it moves some part of our skeletal system. So again, we're actually focusing on skeletal muscles, right? So as you see here, we have a bone and the biceps here. And then we have the tendon connecting the bone and the muscle. It's going to be just a covering. There's no strict demarcation or dividing line between the tendon and the covering around the muscle. So that covering is going to be called epimyceum. It's really just connective tissue that covers the muscle. Kind of a protects it, reduces friction between the muscle and the surrounding bone and other tissues that might be in this person's arm right here. And then within this muscle, you can you have connective tissue on the inside, divides uh, of little fibers of some sort. This is called the perimyceum, right? We have epimyceum and perimyceum, dividing of small kind of fibers. Uh, and then each of these little things, the perimyceum are dividing off. Let's say we go a little further and pull one of them out. Um, so. We have perimyceum surrounding it, right? This is just going to be a fancy name for connective tissue. You can have uh, nerves, capillaries, all, all sorts of stuff because you have to get blood and you're seeing all sort of muscle. So it's not just connective tissue, it's all the things that have to eventually get to muscle cells. Right? So each of these. I guess you could call them big subfibers of the muscle. This is called, be called a fascicle, as you see here, a fascicle. So the connective tissue inside the fascicle is going to be called endomyceum. So finally we have epimyceum, perimyceum, and then endomyceum. So once again, more connective tissue, have capillaries in it, have nerves in it, all the sort of things that have to eventually come in contact with the muscle cells. So all this here is endomyceum. We're gonna go even within the muscle cell here. I'm sorry, we have a muscle cell here, right? Gonna go even within the muscle cell and um, understand how the myosin acting filaments fit into the muscle cell. So here I've zoomed into a muscle cell. So if we were to look at this picture of a skeletal muscle again, you're going to see uh, the striation here, right? Between every striation is going to be called is going to be a sacromere here. 
um, a sacrobiar is going to be one unit of a muscle and if we were to zoom inside a sacrobiar we're going to find two chemicals right and those chemicals are going to be actin and myosin and if you really want to know how a muscle work you need to understand how these two work together so basically we have bands right here and those bands are what we're gonna see in a striated muscle again uh, these bands are called Z discs the Z discs and then you have actin here they're gonna be red in this diagram and then myosin between attached in the middle so these myosins are gonna attach to actin during uh, contraction um, when ATP and calcium is present and when the myosin starts grabbing to on to actin they're basically going to pull the actin together and our Z discs are going to be pulled together as well that's contraction uh, and when we relax the muscle they're going to slide back to where we start and I hope that was helpful